Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have the Morphe palettes to use for this video and I'm so excited to be using these palettes because they are so affordable, so creamy and so pigmented. And if you guys would like to see this look, then please keep on watching. I taped the side of my eye and these are perfect for the side of your eye if you're trying to find something that actually sticks because I remember I tried tape and honestly it kept on falling off and these are the Avery multi-use labels they're really really tiny as you can see compared to the one that's there and that's not um, so they fit on the side of your eye really perfectly. They come with 36 labels on each sheet, so that's enough for a bunch of looks. And what I like about these two is that when you're doing your eyeliner, you can see where you're putting it because when the tape is there, it's clear, so you can't really see that much, like where you're really starting it, and then it comes out to be like super long. So I recommend these. Now I'm going to start by using the 35O Matte and I got this palette in the mail yesterday and I'm really excited to use it today in this tutorial and that's all I'm going to be doing today is the eyes because usually my face I keep it pretty much the same. I'll list down below a video where I did my foundation routine so you guys can see it if you guys would like. So today I'm going to be using my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer to conceal my eyes and prime them for the shadows. I just put a little bit in the back of my hand and then I put a little tiny bit on my eyes because this thing goes a very, very long way. So I'm packing more of it on the eyelid and then as I go up, I just go lightly with my finger like if you would a brush. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. And now I'm going to set my eye primer with a neutral shade. It doesn't matter which one it is. You want to have your lids a bit lighter than your skin tone because you are going to be covering it up with mostly shadow. So you won't really see that. But your eyebrow, underneath your eyebrow, it will already be highlighted. So either you can skip that step at the end if you like it or re-highlight it and you'll have a guide in where to put your eyeshadow and not put it too high, you know? I'm in the first eyeshadow on the third row. And I'm gonna be using my I'm gonna be using my Avon crease brush. I really like this one just to apply color everywhere lightly. So I'm just going to put that in the crease just to give some color to the lid. And I don't even know what I'm doing guys, but we'll see at the end how it comes out. I was just so excited to get into these palettes. I have the matte and the shimmer. And if you guys want to see swatches on that, I have it on my Instagram. I'll have it listed down below. And the same to the other eye. Just to be safe, I go back in with the first brush I use. And this is just a Walmart brush, an angled, an angled um, blending brush. And just to blend out the top, even if we don't need it, just to be safe. The next color I'm going to be going in with is just a bit darker just to make the crease a little bit darker and you know just carry on with the colors. Um, I'm going to be using the last one on the second row. Brown. I'm just putting it in the crease. And I'm pretty sure that these two palettes are still available only if you get them in the pack that they had, like the dual pack thing. 
um, it was $43 and some, but um, it came out to be $50 for me. Like exactly $50 with shipping and everything. And honestly, that's pretty good. And I'm using another Avon crease brush, but a clean one and just applying that color. A little bit lower than we applied the other one. I really want to make it warm and really orangey because of course the 35O palette is or the 35O matte and shimmer and the 35O are all based on orange so I really want to make an orange look so I'm gonna grab a Coastal Scents number 11 brush it's just a really tiny little crease brush I'm gonna use the last color on the last row I'm really 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 in love with burnt oranges um, I went to Sephora and I saw the rust palette from Kat Von D the little ones that are $26 and oh my gosh I fell in love with that orange color but you know can't afford it so I got myself this whole palette for $25 because 50 and divided by 2 is 25 so I just figured I would mix shades in here to get that so now I'm gonna go back in with my Walmart brush and just clean up the edges again and just blend them out and I am adding a little bit of that first color we used to set the eyelids and I'm just gonna blend that up there and try to blur out these edges Keep it all matte and just add a matte color in here and then a shimmer in the inner corner. I'm just going to be using this Coastal Sense number 16 brush and just apply a matte neutral color to the inner corner. The fifth on the first row. Honestly, I like the pigmentation on this side, so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm not gonna add no more color. And I'm just gonna blend up here. I'm gonna take my Coastal Sense number 17 brush and the third color on the first row of the Morphe Shimmer palette, add it in the inner corner. Not too much, just a bit right there. These colors are so pigmented. These colors are so super pigmented. Like, that's not even wet and it applied. Like, it looks like a foiled shadow. I really love it. So now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. And I'm actually going to apply the color that I applied to the inner corner. The, um, the matte inner corner color. Just to apply some color there. And actually, I'm going to remove these. Let's see how it looks. You see how it um, is the perfect shape, and also it's already cut, so you don't have to cut your tape to the same exact size as this side so that's where I also got like that's where I also ruined my whole makeup because let's say this tape was longer than this one and then I would mess up the whole look because one side would be way longer than the other I'm gonna 
add a little bit more of that color that we added on the outer corner, just on the outer corner right here. And I'm not even adding more product, I'm just gonna add whatever was left on my brush. I'm just gonna add it on my outer corner, because I don't want it too dark down there. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of the color that we added in the crease the second time. And I'm going to add it to the lower lash line. Just a bit. Just to add a little bit more peach down there. Now I'm going to skip eyeliner today. I'm just going to go on to mascara. And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. Brushing my... I'm just brushing my eyelashes out because I am going to use falsies. Even though I usually never ever ever use falsies. I'm going to actually put mascara on my lower lashes after I put on my fake lashes because I want to see how much I want to put and how dramatic I want to make it or if I just want to leave it blank down there and make it look super clean and today I'm gonna be using my forever 21 eyelashes in the number 2305 and I'm gonna be using my duo glue in the dark so I'm just gonna let the eyelashes sit for a bit and I'm gonna apply my highlighter because I have not done that and I wanted to show you guys because I get asked a lot um, in person actually like a lot of people ask me what at what highlighter I'm using and it's actually the eyeshadow enchanted and I really love this for a highlight it's from elf and it's one of their baked eyeshadows and it's supposed to be a dupe for champagne pop so I use it all the time I'm not even sure if it's a dupe but I really love the color actually it's like a pink pink mixed with a yellow and it's really beautiful. I apply it with a Coastal Sense number no. 4 brush. It's a, a it kind of looks like a blush brush but it's a stipple brush. So to get it more naturally I either apply it like this like just like straight like that with the bristles on the top and then if I want a really strong highlight I just go on the side and I pack the product on and I just go on the side of the brush. Now I just apply it like a little bit under my eyes. Just like straight on right there. I applied my eyelashes. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. And I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes. And now I'm going to apply a nude liner to my waterline. And I really like this one. It's from Wet n Wild. It's really pigmented and it goes on really smooth on my eyes. And it's only 99 cents, guys. So run out and get it. It's really good. I think I'm going to be using my 93 Beauty in the color Beach. And I really like this lipstick. I have a review on all the lipsticks I ordered from them. So, um,. You can go check that out. I'll link it down below. And I have to shake this before I apply it. So it won't be like separating. So this is the finished look guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And of course you can make it your own look. I just really wanted to recommend these palettes to you guys. It's really affordable and it's super, super awesome that you get all these matte shades in one single palette. I really would not ever need any other transition color for my eyelids. So I really recommend this palette. The shimmery one, um, if you're into glittery colors and you're always using shimmery colors, then go ahead and get it because they're so creamy and so wonderful. Again, I do have my swatches on my Instagram page, Esmeralda Mendez V, and I'll list it down below. Yeah, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and please join me on my next video. Bye!